Hey everyone, Alice here with a special reading, a milestone reading. You know, I, I've i noticed a hundred subscribers and I mean, that's, that's amazing. That's amazing to me because I only started this channel in February and there's over 200 videos, which I have no idea how I managed to put over 200 videos. I mean, some of them are kind of cheatsy because they're like 12 videos. I just split the one video in 12, but even then I didn't do that that often. So, um, yeah, I, I appreciate everybody who watches, everybody who subscribes, everybody who likes, you know, I, you know, I really appreciate that. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, you know, I was thinking, to, to, you know, I should do a reading for the 100 subscribers or, you know, four subscribers, basically. And, yeah, so I thought I would do a reading. Uh, I haven't really thought about it. I mean, I kind of did, sort of. Um, I thought I would just kind of see what happens, where things go but my intention is I just want to know like good things. I only want to know the good things that are incoming. I don't want to know about the bad things. So like spirit, universe, we are only interested in positive energies that are coming towards. And that's all that I'm interested in. So I don't even know what, like how am I going to do this? Do I want to do it... Do I want to go through signs? I mean, I could. Or, eh, I mean, it is, if, if you've subscribed um, to the channel, you know, this reading is for you. That's the intention. The intention here is anybody who is subscribed to the channel, reading is for you. And, you know, just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, because it's going to still be a general reading here. Um, but yeah, so try not to force anything. If it's not clicking, then it's not clicking. Um, I'm really not sure how I'm going to do this. I might just do like a few readings, but it's not like a pick a card reading. We're just going to like see where the energy goes. <laughs> Man, this is what happens when I do impromptu things, but sometimes the impromptu things are good. So let's just get what the incoming energy is like coming towards you. Now, um, yeah, technically this is a timeless reading, um, but you know, it is timed, but we're just getting on in the current energies. What is the incoming energy? Positive incoming energy. Positive. And we'll just go from there. We'll just go from there. We'll see. Where does this take us? Okay, that one just flew right out. Determination. So there's an energy that's coming towards you that is quite determined. Um, <laughs> there, so this can be your energy. This can be somebody else. If this is your energy, then if you have a goal in mind, um, something that you're reaching for something that you're trying to get to you are in this energy of determined to make it happen you know if there there's a there's a mountain on this card if you're trying to like if there's a mountain in your way like an obstacle in your way you're determined that you're going to get through this obstacle you're going to get over it and you're going to reach the top and claim the prize, get your reward, all of this, you're feeling like this boost of energy that's going to come in here, that's going to kind of push you, you know, motivate you to, you know, get those last, like, whatever steps in here so that you can, like, get there. Um, this boost of energy can just be, you know, just feeling more energetic. Uh, it can also just be somebody, you know, asking for help or, somebody offering help here um or just kind of seeing things in a new way you know some you know sometimes there's a problem and you're just kind of like I don't know how to solve this problem I don't know what to do I don't like and it just bugs you and it bugs you and bugs you and then like one day it's like poof like in your brain it's like 
I know how to, I, I, I got it. I got it. I got, I got the solution. I know what I can do. You know, it's just thinking outside the box sometimes. Um, yeah. So if that's your energy. That can be you. Or this can be incoming energy of somebody else. Somebody that's incoming who's feeling this way towards you. Like if you are some sort of goal, I guess, for this person. I'm going to get some extra energy here supportive charmed energy um to kind of see where this reading might be going these are the charms that i've made and i will have them available soon so okay we have cancer we have scorpio so you might be a cancer or scorpio or dealing with a cancer and or scorpio well this seems appropriate summer i mean the reading is for the near future and it is almost officially summer uh next week next week is officially summer in the northern hemisphere here where i am in canada we have oh that's nice we have uranus or uranus Lots of unexpected surprises. Um, just things happening. Um, unpredictable. Unpredictability um, here. And we also have the 10th house. 10th house deals a lot with um, career, um, reputation, status. Uh, so social standings. You know, it doesn't have to be just career. It can also be how people see you. Um, how people view you, um, yeah, yeah, your, your social reputation, also your ambitions, um, it has a lot to do with your ambitions too. So that's good here. Determination here. All right. Let's see what else. I'm not going to use reversals because I don't feel like it. <laughs> I find when I do more positive readings, this is best if I don't use reversals. Okay, what else you want to tell me about this energy? Incoming energy. What are the positive vibes, the good vibes, the incoming positive vibes? I saw the Fool. So this can be a new start, a new beginning. I should know uh, Cancer and Scorpio, Cancer and Scorpio energy. Uh, they're both water signs, so they, we, they can do with emotions. Um, cancer is all about being very supportive, very healing energy, very compassionate. Um, it can also be having like a shell, you know, kind of protective type of energy here. Uh, Scorpio is a lot of deep feelings, a lot of intense feelings and emotion can be very passionate um, emotions and that passion can really drive you to, you know, to be, to do things, to be very determined. Um, but there's a caveat here with Scorpio. Sometimes Scorpio can be a little too passionate and it can turn into obsession very easily. So, um, just be careful of that as well. Okay. So we have the six of wands. So somebody is paying attention. So like I said, we have 10th house energy here, you know, social, um, status, reputation here. Um, you could be getting some recognition here for something that you've been doing, something that you've accomplished here. Like, look at everybody. He's got the little orc um, in an orb thingy there. And everyone's like, yeah, you slayed the orc. Yeah, nice. Nice, Bob. Yeah, and the magician here. You know, this is like being confident, living in your confident power here. I really do feel like now this is your energy, um, your incoming energies. You're feeling very determined, feeling this confidence here because you've, people are recognizing you for your accomplishments. You know, that gives you a boost of confidence. It's very nice. Ten of Wands, it can be a little overwhelming. I'm um, not going to lie. Um, because when you suddenly start getting recognition for the things that you've been working on, the things that you've been doing, uh it, yeah it can feel a little overwhelming there could be some burdens here so that's kind of the dark side of this here um underneath we have the six of cups this can feel very nostalgic to you perhaps um 
there is something that before in the past that you were recognized for and maybe it just kind of fell to the wayside and now maybe people are seeing that again this can be something that um some past accomplishments here that you are now being recognized for uh, we have death here with the magician i do feel that you're feeling more confident and the confidence is coming from things that you've let go you know this is a rebirth here you know there's things that are changing you've let go of some things in your past um you know you've come out of it like a phoenix here this is a rebirth for you you know it, it can be like a glow up even um you know maybe you were kind of down and maybe not very motivated and you know this is you know this boost of determination here maybe is allowing you to rise up from the ashes like a phoenix and gaining a lot more confidence here now uh, page of cups here you know pages are inexperienced pages they uh you know they they don't really know what's what they're doing um and the page of cups here is somebody who's a little more sensitive here and yes i i do feel that you might feel a little overwhelmed by you know the sudden recognition here that you're getting here and you might be a little sensitive to that um here you might you know it might cause some emotions in here there can be some ups and downs here because of that growing pains i feel you know it's not that bad all right what else uh queen of swords there's somebody here who is going to be very honest um about how they're how, uh, i don't know how they're feeling well maybe but about the situation here so you're getting a lot of attention and i feel somebody is going to be isn't is is gonna cut through the bullshit this is somebody who is gonna tell it to you straight and you know give you the facts here i don't really know why um but they are high priestess and the ten of pentacles this person has some secrets here that they're keeping from you so they're not going to tell you everything. They know a lot, but they're not going to tell you everything. It's almost as if they know where you've been. They knew where you were. They knew the place that you used to be in with this death card, you know, before you transformed into whatever, this phoenix, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't feel like they're going to say anything, though. I think they're keeping that to themselves, but they do remember where you were, how you were, you know, when you were in a worse place i could put it that way um i feel like this is somebody you've known for a long time ten of pentacles this can be family um or just somebody who you trust somebody who feels very secure very stable here uh oh i know i never showed the ten of pentacles in this deck there's a lot going on in it and i never really show it but um yeah there are two people here um sitting in front of this tree it's a really big tree it's a tree that's been around for many many years and you know they're very comfortable it's not really focusing but they're sitting here they're very comfortable on this tree so this is somebody who and then there's a wizard here he looks very wise so this is somebody who you've known for a while um possibly a family member or just somebody who you've known maybe since you were a kid and yeah, somebody who you might look to for advice um i almost feel like this person might keep you grounded as well with this ten of pentacles that this person is going to tell you the truth they're not going to let your ego fly off or get too big here you know they're going to ground you in some way here and you know tell it like it is um but they're not going to expose you. I don't feel they're, they're I don't feel they're going to expose how you used to be or anything like that. So what else can you tell me about sort of your accolades here that you're being recognized for? What can we find out about this? uh what's this temperance so this can be something that you've been patiently um working on you know concocting 
<laughs> temperance is like alchemy you know trying things out experimenting you know this kind of this could have been something that um you've you've tried a few times at to get working and you know you've had some trial and error you've had some failures and you know now it's starting to work out here um i don't know what's coming to mind like a song like you know when you're writing a song and a song can go through many iterations before you get to the final product it feels like that here six of pentacles yes there's something here you know that you've had to kind of get help from other people other like it's not just you i feel like you know there's been other people that have helped you to get to this place along the way you've asked for help you've gotten help you've given help you know there's there's been an equal give and take here um in order to get sort of this victory these achievements and then we have the fool here you know there was a risk you did take a risk here and the risk you know it, it kind of proved eventually eventually with temperance here eventually it's going to pay off here you are getting some sort of recognition here we have the ace of pentacles here's the six of cups again yeah from the past and page of swords here so yes i i do feel that in the past here again this can be something that you've been working on for a while from the past here and now you're now you're getting recognition for it this can be something that you've been doing for a while and it's only now that you're getting recognition for it and yes it's been as you've gone through um to get to this point uh there have been many people that have helped you along the way here and I, I see with the ace of pentacles here you know you started from a place that you felt that there was an opportunity here you felt there was potential here and you kept working at it you kept trying things out experimenting trying to figure out what works what doesn't work here till you got to a place where people are starting to recognize your work that you put into this but you know when you started off and you took this risk you know the page of swords you thought you knew a lot about whatever it is that you're doing but it's like as you've gone on the journey you've realized that maybe you didn't know as much as you thought you knew at the beginning and I feel like that that feeling is there for a lot of people and that you know that is the energy that I'm feeling you, you know how when you start something and you think that it's not going to be as difficult as it's going to be or you just think, oh, I think I know what to do. Like, in theory, I know how to do it. And then um, as you start to do it and you learn, you start to learn that maybe uh, you didn't know as much as you thought you did, that there was still a lot that you needed to learn here. Um, and I feel that here with this energy here. Um, what else can you tell me about this person? This person's energy down here. So that is about, you know, what's going on here, what you're being sort of recognized for, you know, this determined energy to see it through. Uh, five of Wands. I do feel that this person that you may have butted heads a little with them. Um, this person might have been somebody who was providing for you in some way, possibly monetary. They could have been investing in you. Um, doesn't have to be with money. It can be investing um, just in time or with advice here and ace of wands um uh, this person actually may have helped you to feel inspired um to do um whatever it is here that you're you know getting some sort of recognition for the five of wands i don't feel as if this was um like a a big um deal. it's just sometimes you butted heads with this person i do feel like this person is pretty headstrong uh with the queen of swords the this can be an air sign um gemini libra aquarius uh somebody who is very vocal <laughs> about what they think about things here and they're very upfront and honest sometimes brutally honest but and that come sometimes can you you know can cause conflict here and being like, well, like, you know, you didn't have to tell me that, you know, you, you could have 
been nicer in the way that you said it, but that's not in this person's nature. It doesn't feel like it's in this person's nature. So sometimes, yeah, there was some conflict here. Um, but I do feel overall with the King of Pentacles here, you know, this person provided something for you that, you know, gave you some sort of stability, some sort of grounding here. Uh, you know, with the Ten of Pentacles again. Like, I feel like this person is somebody that's been around for a long time. Somebody you've known for a while here. Um, and this person might have helped you to get your start. Again, like I said, this person may have invested in you or in some way. Um, you know, let's say you were, I don't know, maybe you were working on being a streamer or something along those lines. Perhaps this person helped to provide you with, you know, the equipment. Um, maybe they helped um, in some way in purchasing like a camera or uh, a PC or something along those lines here. Um, helped get you started here. I do feel um, underneath we have the lover's card. Um, this is a deep connection. It can be a soul connection with this person. It doesn't have to be romantic. It can be. Um, but it can be the lover's card. It, you know, it can just be somebody here that you feel drawn to and it's almost like it shouldn't work, but it does work. And I mean, <laughs> with, with butting heads and all that, I mean, yes, that, that does seem to be the way. Um, all right. Let's see if Spirit wants to add anything else here and then I'll wrap this up. Anything else that spirit wants to tell you about this incoming energy? It does seem very positive and I like that. Oh, the lovers kind of wanted to pop out but didn't completely pop out. So we have chariot. We have the ace of cups. Hmm. And we have the world. That's nice. Three of swords. Huh. I did see the lovers. Um, so the Three of Swords crossing the Ace of Cups here. If you're feeling, see, this is what also what Spirit wants to add here. If you're feeling heartbroken in something, um, possibly about a connection, because I did see the lovers and it came up twice. So, you know, I'm not going to ignore the synchronicities there. So if you are feeling heartbroken about a connection here, um, there does seem to be new love or emotions coming in here with the ace of cups here um there can be it can be new love um it can be new emotions new feelings here um it can just be feelings that have not really come out you know like growing feelings I, I, that would probably be the best way to put it um it can, I don't know who that is. I don't know if it's you or if it's incoming energy. There's just somebody here whose feelings are growing. Um, with the three of swords, you know, this is hurt feelings, heartache. Um, where's this coming from? Ah, knight of cups. So, you know, wanting to move towards love, wanting to act, um, on emotions here. Um, but it hurts, you know, it hurts to act on emotions. Okay, so somebody here wants to act on emotions here, but they feel like they can't, you know, it hurts because they feel like there's some truth here that they can't really reveal. Um, so they just kind of keep their feelings to themselves. You know, they keep it to themselves, they keep it under wraps here. But I do feel that whoever this is, is moving towards completion here. When I say completion, they're moving towards the world. They're moving towards ending this cycle here. I do want to clarify this world card. You can't clarify the world card with a world card. <laughs> yes, you can. Okay. World and uh, the emperor. 
and chariot again. Ah, the devil. Okay, so yeah, somebody here is moving. They can be moving forward. They can be moving on from this. Um, because something is holding, something that was holding them back from really accepting something here, completing something here, um, I feel that is coming to a close, but in a satisfact, a satisfactory way, because the, the world is completion. It is the end, but it's coming to the end of something by feeling accomplished by feeling like being successful it's not like an end like it's abrupt and that you know no like this is having resolve here um so whatever this is whatever these feelings are um i do feel that you know there is moving forward moving forward and accepting what has happened here accepting the heartache here even if like if this is something if this is you and you, you know, are healing some sort of heartache here, it's almost accepting that you're going to have feelings here, but just accepting like that, you know, those are the feelings or accepting that there are new feelings here or, you know, I mean, it's very hard. You know, there's so many energies here. I'm just trying to get out everything that I can find here. Um, uh, but yeah, the sort of resolve here, the closure, the acceptance here, you know, it is about taking leadership here. It is about taking control of your life um, and moving forward. I mean, that's the, the main idea here is whatever heartache here from, yeah, from whatever actions of love that were taken that resulted in heartache or pain, you know, all these emotions that have been kind of repressed or, you know, pushed down here, there is movement, there is progress happening here to find closure from within to, you know, let go, oh my gosh, let go of the devil energy here, you know, reconciliation and all these feelings, emotions, because taking control, taking control of your life and going down the path that you want to go down and finding closure. So that's nice. I like that. Okay. Um, yeah, that's the reading. That is the, you know, thank you, um, for subscribing, uh, reading. I appreciate that. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you enjoyed this video or you found it interesting or you find the readings interesting, I really do appreciate it if you like and or subscribe. It does help me do more with the channel because YouTube has these restrictions where you can't unlock these certain features unless you have X amount of subscribers and all of this stuff. So that's really the only reason why I push it. Um, I really wouldn't push it that much if it, if it had nothing to do with that. Uh, but I really do want a community tab. <laughs> That's all I really want is a community tab. <laughs> so, um, yeah, anyways, um, good luck, uh, in the future in general. And I mean, this all seems really nice. And so if it's resonating, you know, I, uh, good luck with that. Uh, take care, uh, have a good day or good night wherever you are. And I will talk to you later. Bye.